Outpost 3, this is Resistance 1. I'm coming in hot with a sensitive cargo. I need the entrance to Huss and the Bowery open now. We're coming up on the lair. How's Odin doing? He's still paralyzed. No, wait. He's coming back. That's it, baby. Hang in there. We're almost home. Get him into my lab. Hurry! Crap, he's... Uh, he's heavy as hell! What happened? Not the time, oh no! Sorry, Sensei. You okay to sit down, Odin? I... I think so, Sensei. You can do it, Odin. We've got you. You about to give me a freaking heart attack out there, kid. Yeah, dude, it's like you totally froze up. You get scared when the fighting start? I... No, I wasn't scared, Moa. I just couldn't move all of a sudden. I tried to fight, but I couldn't. Maybe it's hypoclimic PP. Hyperclimine what? Hypoclimic pure paralysis. I read about it in Grammy's medical books. It's a temporary paralysis caused by low potassium. Stress or too much exercise can trigger it. Foods with lots of sugar and starches too. Well, if too much junk food makes it happen, I'm not surprised. Don't be a jerk, jerk. Just saying. Whatever it was. How are you feeling now? I don't know. Just pretty tired, I guess, Sensei. And a little hungry. Food's gonna have to wait for now. I got some tests I need to run first. Why don't the rest of you kids go get cleaned up? I'll whip up some dinner as soon as Odin and I are done here. Better yet. After you get cleaned up, why don't you three cook dinner? And since you're worried about junk food, oh no, let's have something healthy. Yes, Sensei. Yay, I love kitchen duty! Whatever. Just couldn't keep your mouth shut, huh, bro? Guys, I'm a little scared about Odie. You think he's gonna be okay? Thought you were the expert, Yi. You tell us. Leave her alone, dude. And Odin's gonna be fine. Grimmy will make sure of it. All right, tough guy. All set. God say, pretty brave of how you handle needles. Even Master Michelangelo was afraid of shots. They don't even hurt, Grimmy. Feels like tiny pinches. Not surprised considering you took a sledgehammer to the skull without blinking. Honestly, I don't remember that part, Sensei. I'm gonna leave you on these monitors for just a little longer, Odin. Well, I go talk to your mom. Try not to move too much, okay? And as soon as we're done, I'll whip you up a special grilled cheese sandwich just for you. That'll be way better than what Ono's making for sure. <laughs> yep. I think I'll make one for me too. Let's leave your student alone for a sec, Sensei. But, come on. What's going on, Mom? The truth? I'm not seeing anything abnormal right now. At least... Externally, let's see what the tests say. But G said he might have hypocytic paralyzers. Hypo, what? Oh, for that girl reads way too much. It was too early to take them out. You're right. This, this is all my fault. Stop. Quit blaming yourself. But Odin, deep breath, kiddo. Whatever happened. I don't think it had to do with you taking them out. Listen, this is why I do case. I got this. I'll follow the science while you go make sure the others aren't going down the kitchen, yeah? I... Yeah, okay. Thanks, Mom. together. Okay, big guy. That's enough testing for now. Let's get you out of these wires. Awesome. Can I go eat now? Yup. And you're in luck because whatever your brother is cooking, the 
It smells edible for once. Are you coming too? In a little bit. Just need to look at your test data real quick. Okay. I'll let everyone know. Thanks, Grandma April. Sure thing, kiddo.
that was when our mutual friends stumbled upon me, and all of our lives coalesced into something we could never imagine before that day. Another accident that created a new, strange future that would seem the impossible until that moment. I joined your fight, your fight, for all the right reasons until that final tragic day. And that was my end. Until it wasn't. I often wonder if not for Michelangelo's return, would you ever retrieve my mind and memories to help me win that battle? And yet my ever-present human sight lingers on this idealistic possibility that all these accidents, which on the surface would seem nothing more than a series of coincidences, were in truth the culmination of a universal plan, a splinter in the turtles I have become through a series of seemingly random events, exactly why I needed to be some kind of paranoid destiny perhaps, illogical, agreed. Once again, agreed to disagree, for the most part. I mean, I get it. I get your point of view, but... You're a scientist and an engineer, April. Logic and skepticism must be your constant companions. That isn't all that defines me. Me second-guessing my successes as well as my mistakes are what defines my humanity. Who knows, maybe I'm the accident that needed to happen here. For all the right reasons. You're deflecting, April. We aren't talking about you. We are discussing something that might have gone wrong with your creations. Agreed? That being said alone, are responsible. What are you willing to do if something seriously wrong with Odin? Or all of them? What if their creation is not good for humanity? I... I said I get it. I was given the experience and the tools to create something for my reasons. If it comes to the worst case scenario, I'll do what I have to. But I'm ending this discussion, Satan. I don't have time for all these what if and alternative histories you're throwing around. I realize it could be one of a million different things going on with Odin. But I need to know what it is, and most importantly, if it's dangerous. And then, one way or another, I need to know how to make it right. If it is, and I want your help figuring it out. Right now, damn it! I will always be here to help you, my friend. Of course, we're taking this seriously. Why do you even ask? This is not an ask. I watch your bloody imbeciles on the news hold earlier. Yammering on about creating jobs and other pointless rubbish. Woodsless and being exposed as fools by the gallant reporter. Makes you look weak, Mayor Palmioti. Weak, impudent. Like clueless schoolboys playing on politics. Well, I'm sorry you see it that way, Mr. Carton. I personally felt we did a perfect job on controlling the narrative, all things considered. Yeah, it's what we agreed to do. So knock off the personal attacks, bub. We're all on the same team here. So what's your problem this time? Team? I think not, Chief Folly. You really are being paid to do what I tell you to do. And my problem? Why do you still have a rogue arm that's only working alongside the city's commoners from underground bases all over the city? Uncontrolled private army that you should have been dismantled years ago after your police department was re established. Instead, they continue to operate on their own free will. Unimpeded in the Terry and nearly every jurisdiction you're supposed to be governing with your police force. <sighs> Just a minor weed gag. More like glorified crossing guards and part of our public relations outreach malarkey. What are you suggesting here? Suggesting? No. 
I insist you win New York. I insist you win New York of these peacekeepers. Or resistance fighters. Or whatever the bloody hell they're calling themselves. Or else I'll find someone else who will be happy to take my money and get the job done. You have something for me? Yes, sir, I surely do. Well, these are certainly as interesting as you said they are. And you're the only one who's ever seen these? Yes, sir. And of the recon at two bridges myself. Good. Let's keep you in the shadows for now. Rest assured, very soon, I require more, shall we say, active approach from your organization. And when the time comes to move beyond the recompenses, I expect you to be fully prepared to act. Is that understood, Mr. Jigsaw? 110%. The Purple Dragon will be ready to rock and roll wherever you need us. That tears it, Jimmy. I'm pretty much over that pompous Brit Esh... The Cheevler? What the hell does that even mean, anyway? It's a lame, fancy pants words for a night, Chuck. I looked it up. Emily? Yes, Mr. Mayor? Please send Officer Watanabe. You want to see me, sir? Yes, you are. My office has received numerous complaints recently from the citizens about the so-called peacekeepers. We continue to allow to operate in the city. Legitimate concerns that these vigilantes are acting above the law. This has a lot of folks scared. Scared, Mr. Mayor? I find that... Honestly, I find that surprising. Most people talking on the streets support the resistance efforts. Not to mention the fact they continue to be a huge help to our own undermined force. Did you miss the part where his honor asked for your opinions, Watanabe? You're in charge of public relations. You are the face of the department. And I want that face on every damn hollow remaining in the city. That nobody, nobody is above the law. The police enforce the rules in New York. And there's gonna be hell to pay for anyone who thinks they can ignore our authority. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Crystal Chief. Figured I'd find you in here, kiddo. This is the only place that makes sense to me sometimes. Kind of like your lab, I guess. Actually, I prefer tinkering mindlessly in my garbage when I'm feeling lost. But... I get what you're saying. Well, since you're here and not there, I'm guessing you've got some answers about Odin. No. No answers. Not yet. I was just passing through on my way to brew up some tea and... Thought if I'd check and see if you want any. Tea, Mom? Really? Odin might be dying, and you're busy making tea? Pretty sure he's not dying, Case. And I get that you're frustrated right now. So am I. Difference is, while you're knocking the stuffing out of some stupid bag, I'm digging for real answers. And yes, sipping some hot along while I do, so sue me. Mom, I'm sorry, I... Damn it. Damn it! Real good, Jones. Hey, Hero. Casey, where have you been? I've been texting you like crazy. You forgot about our date tonight? No, I... Well, yeah, sort of. Things just got crazy today. A bunch of bangers hit two bridges earlier. And with the resistance so spread out right now, I ended up... Um... I ended up having to handle it pretty much on my... Um... On my own. Yeah, I heard about that mess. Are you okay? I'm good, just... Just a little burned out is all. I hate to do this, but... But you okay with us canceling tonight? Yeah, yeah. Sure, no problem. I mean, I really do want to see you. But I can wait if you think that's better. I... Yeah, I do. 
Sorry. I just need some quiet time right now. I'm a little break from all the noise, you know? I hear you. Speaking of noise, the brass are all over me to get the news and denounce the resistance. They want me to push the narrative that you're nothing but more than a bunch of law-breaking vigilantes. Well, if half of the police department wasn't on the take, the city wouldn't need vigilantes. No offense. Look, Case, you know I'm on your side. And I'll do my best to keep the public story as little about the resistance as possible. But truth is, I can only run cover for you for so long. But the mayor and Chief Farley are gunning for you big time. Yeah, well... I happily disappear if those two idiots spent more time focusing on the gang bosses and less on the good guys. I guess they think you'd be easier to deal with than Cortez or Copeland. Easier than the sin in the angel? They don't know me too well, do they? <laughs> no, no, they don't. Look, I gotta run. Let's just take the rain check for today. And plan for another day soon? Yeah, I like that. See you, hero. Dang, no, you can be really good at this. Lots of practice, dude. You should try sometime. No, not the wooden dummy thing. I'm talking about the soup you made. It's yummy. You could really be a professional chef's person. Ha, fat chance. No way I'm gonna end up being some stupid chef. Jeez, Ono, it still amazes me how you still manage to be a jerk even when someone's giving you a compliment. First of all, that soup came from a can. And second, I'm not trying to be a jerk, Moa. I'm just saying I don't want to be a chef, that's all. Yeah, well, I don't want to be the sister to a butthole of a brother either. But here we are. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, Odie, I got a question. When you froze up, did you feel like you had a rapid heartbeat or any numbness in your face or pain in your arms? No, I don't think so, Yi. I didn't really feel anything. Not even when that door clunked you in your skull with a sledgehammer? No. Nah. Wait, are you on that webpage for a hypo drawing against Yan Yi? I'm just making sure Odie didn't have a stroke or something. I already told you, Grandma's taking care of things. Odin's gonna be fine. So quit messing on the dumb site. You're just making mountains with molehills. Out of molehills, Moa. Mountains of molehills. I'm just trying to help. I know, kid. I'm sorry. It's just... It was already scary enough what happened. No point in making it worse. Everyone's where they're supposed to be. Just waiting on the word to go. No more waiting. The angel says the light's green. Midtown Mafia's about to crank up the heat on the saint. Okay, you all heard what Saint said. Chelsea's cartel is done playing with whack games with the Angel. Alright. It's time. Let's get this party started. Did you guys feel that? That rumbling. It's probably just crazy music you're always listening to. I didn't say I heard it, Ono. Oh Felt it. What the crap? Sensei, what was that? Don't know. Mom, let's see what the news is saying. Multiple calls coming in from the studio that rival gang from Midtown and Chelsea are flashing into the streets of Manhattan. There are reports of small arms gunfire and possibly explosions as well. Investigative reporter Amanda Rose Connor is en route to the scene. And we should have more accurate details and pictures for our viewers shortly. Jiro, what's going on? All hell's breaking loose up your case. Looks like the Chelsea Cartel and Midtown Mafia decided to concentrate their stupidity on each other instead on your resistance facilities. I'm with the SWAT team now. They're preparing to intervene. 
I just wanted to call you first. With all heat coming down from the mayor, might be better if your resistance folks sit this one out and let the police handle it. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I don't know if you want to hear it, but I really do think it's for the best, Casey. Gotta go. Forget that. Casey, where are you? At home, Commander Zygoza. With my mom and the kids. Got you on the speaker. Good, because I won't have to repeat this. The Angel and the Zan decided to go DEFCON 1 on each other. And there's a bunch of civilians caught in the crossfire. I got half the resistance setting up a security on the basis. And I need the other half in the Hell's Kitchen to pull those civilians out of the danger zone ASAP. Copy that. But the plan, though, doesn't sound like the cops want us getting involved. What's new? Let me worry about them later. Right now, we got innocent people on harm's way. We need all the help they can get. So goes out. Look! Amanda Connor's there! This is Amanda Connor reporting live for Channel 6 News. I'm in Hell's Kitchen, where Maximal Antonio Cortez, also known as the Saint, Chelsea and Cortel, and Maya Park's Corporal Lance, aka the Angel, Midtown Mafia are engaged in a full-scale armed combat, turning this neighborhood into a literal battleground. And just as the police department has been slow to intercept in this long, simmering rivalry between those two major street gangs, they are also late getting here to stop this shocking turf war escalation. Damn it. Enough standing around. Everyone, gear up! Even Odin? Yeah, Odin too. And full ninja face covering this time. We don't need your faces blasting all over the TV. Wait, Casey, you... I know what you're going to say, Mom. But I already made up my mind. Those people need our help. You're wrong. I'm not trying to stop you, kiddo. But if we're gonna do this, we're all gonna do it together. We're gonna do it... my way. Oh my gosh! It's like the end of the world! It's pretty bad, all right. Check it out! It's Amanda Connor! Damn it! Those freaks are gonna waste her! Hang on! Who the... Nice and easy. Be ready for anything. Here! Clear a path, ninjas! We gotta get Amanda! Come on, Odin. We'll get her. Coming. Get away from our creep! Moa! Look out! Whoa! That feeling again. In my skin. Like at the last fight. But this time, I can control it. Holy Odin! How the hell? Ah, my way! The kids! Get out of there! Oh, no, 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 no! Please! 